All right, hey friends, it looks like I'm live right now. I'm looking over at my computer here. I can see all of your awesome comments during the live stream. It looks like lots of you guys are already in here, so I am so, so excited to join you guys today. It's release day, and I'm going to be sharing some of my products that we're releasing. So I'm just taking a look. Leave a comment if everything's working all right, and I hope that if you guys are catching this later on tonight for the replay that you really enjoy it as well. Awesome, so it looks like lots of you guys are in here. It looks like it's working well. So let me talk about today's release quickly. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and I'll actually leave a little link right now if you want to follow me there, I share lots of sneak peeks on Instagram beforehand, and some of them might be a little bit confusing. I had a picture with a fake plant this time. I had a picture of me eating a midnight snack. Um, but hopefully in today's live, it'll all make sense on why we did that um, and share some of the new products. Lots of you guys have been asking for new inks. Today is the day that we get some new colors of inks. Ranger blessed us with some new ink peg colors this release and also lots of really fun stamps, background stamps and stencils like usual. Yay! Looks like you guys are all here. Everybody's saying that it looks good. I am really excited to share today's release. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to turn down to my desk, work surface. Be sure to share this video with your friends if they're interested. Um, make sure that nobody misses it. We want as many people to see this as possible. So let's get into the ink pads first. Awesome, I'm so excited to see you guys all here. Okay, so the first color of ink pad, you can actually see it a little bit on my desk here because I was working with it beforehand. The first color of ink is called Game Over. And I absolutely love this color. I really think that with these three colors that we added, it really fills in the line of ink um, because it makes it a little bit more usable. I see lots of awesome friends in the live stream. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. So this is the Game Over ink pad. And what I find really cool about this one is it fills out the lines of my reds and pink colors. So let me go in my drawer and grab the other ink pads. You can see this one is a really nice, deep, rich red color. You can see here, it's almost like a maroon color. It's got really deep tones to it, which I love. So it really completes off the darkness to the line. And you'll see here is Bee Sting, so much lighter compared to Game Over. And then we go into some of our pink colors, which is Prom Queen and, you know, the pinks. But this really completes off the line with a much darker version of red that was very, very needed. Yes, it's a very pretty cranberry color. That's a good way to describe it. Originally, and I'll give you guys a little behind the scenes, originally this guy was named Superhero, but I love the name Game Over. It just reminds me of my childhood and playing video games and stuff like that. So I thought it fit perfectly with this name. So I love this one. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. And with some of the colors that we released today, we really went with darker tones because I found, I found my line had lots of mid-tones in it, but I wanted some darker tones so you could really easily shade things in and get some really nice deep saturated ink colors in there. So let's turn back down to my desk. Yay. Okay, so also, all there's a link down below um, in the description box for all of the new products in today's live. So if you see anything you love, be sure to click the link down there. And if you're, it's your first purchase with Simon Hurley Create, you can get 20% off using code SIMON20. So I'm really excited. The next color is called Fake Plant. So this is why we took a picture with that fake Christmas tree. Uh, we actually always get a, a fake Christmas tree every year. Um, because we have really bad allergies to the real ones. So this, we were laughing in a meeting room because only a fake plant is this dark and rich green. So I love this color. There it is swatched out with a little bit of water on it. And then here it is blended out as well. And let me compare this to some of the other greens in the line. Like I said, it really fills out the line because here are my other greens. And this gives a much, much darker look to it. And of course we have other colors like Tropical Tango that are a little bit more teal. So this one gives a really nice warm and rich tone with the green, which I love. So like I said, really filling out the darker tones. I think that was definitely something that was missing from the line. Um, and this green is just so beautiful. You can get some really nice rich shadows with it, which I love. Perfect for Christmas cards too. That's why we love these colors. All right guys, 
Now we're going into one of my favorites, Midnight Snack. I love this color so much. And I have been waiting for a navy because blue are some of my favorite colors. And so Midnight Snack is a really nice dark navy tone. And then of course here it is blended out kind of to a lighter tone on the edge. And then here it is swiped with some water on top. But it really creates that nice, rich, vibrant blue color. And let me show you. Here are the other two blues in the line. And you can really, really see the difference there. This one's a little bit more of a mid-tone, kind of teal blue color. Here's a really nice sky blue. And then Midnight Snack really fills that in with the nice rich blue color. And I'm so in love with these three colors um, and really how they fill out the line. I think it's going to give you so much more versatility when you're crafting with your Simon Hurley Create inks. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with them. So, of course, let's do a little recap. We got Midnight Snack. There is Fake Plant, and also Game Over. So I am just so excited about these three colors and really what you're gonna be able to do with them to create different color and color palettes on your cards to really fill out those rich, saturated tones. So I hope you guys enjoy these new ink colors that we added, and I think it's really going to add a lot to the line. All right, so let's put these to the side. I want to speak on something too. This is a fun Christmas in July release. And I know somebody on my Instagram had commented yesterday, you know, I think it's a little bit too early for Christmas cards. But I did this last year where I released one Christmas stamp set in July and you guys all seemed to absolutely love it. Because of course you can use it right now for Christmas in July and you'll also have it a lot earlier for your Christmas projects and stuff like that. So later on in the year I'll pull these out as well. I'll do some right now and then I'll also do some Christmas crafting later on in the year when you traditionally would send your Christmas cards. But I know some people celebrate right now so that's why it's kind of fun to do. But I love to give you guys the supplies early too in case you're doing lots of Christmas crafting or scrapbooking or something like that and want the supplies right now. But of course, you know, these inks and some of the other products work well all year long and I want you guys to know that too. Yay, oh my gosh, you guys seem to absolutely love the colors. Somebody said, does Midnight Snack have some violet in it? You know, I think it might be a little bit, but I think it's, it's more navy than any purple, but it might have a little bit of purple in there. I think it's a, a cooler tone than a warm tone for sure. I agree, never too early for Christmas. I love celebrating Christmas, and Christmas is one of my favorite times to get crafting. Okay, guys, here is the first clear stamp set um, from today's Christmas release. I love this one. It's called Snazzy Snowmen, and it is just so much fun. And so, of course, there are tons of snowmen stamp sets in the industry and in the card making industry, but I wanted to make it with my style. So, of course, those fun faces that you know and love from me are on these snowmen, and it's really just this quirky and playful style that I absolutely love drawing. So, all of these are hand drawn and so, so much fun. So, let's take a peek. This one is absolutely adorable. I love this little guy with his mouth wide open. And then of course you can add that scarf texture right inside of there with whatever color you want. This guy is so adorable because you can add his buttons on, you can add hats onto him or on him. And also these lights string across his arms, which I think is just so cool. So you can stamp those across there and get a really cool um, kind of customized snowman. I wanted to keep them separate just in case you want to do something else with him too. Now this guy is so much fun. I just envisioned this little puddle and then this face on the inside is separate. So if you wanted to use this just as a puddle and you're making a rainy scene card, um, I know my bestest friend stamp set had kind of a rain scene. If you want to make little kids jumping in a puddle, you can use that for that. But then there's also that separate face on the inside that if you stamp, you get that adorable melted snowman. And then these two at the bottom are so cute. I made a card with them and I just love the style of them. And then of course the sentiment, does this scarf make me look fat? <laughs> One of my favorites. Um, but then you have sending warm hugs. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You're so cool. You melt my heart, which is so great for this guy. And there's snow buddy like you. So much fun. Yay, you guys seem to love this. Yes, the does this scarf make me look fat just had us rolling on the floor laughing when I wrote it out. So I love this stamp set and I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. I'm gonna actually share all the supplies and then I'll share some examples at the end and then I'll also do a little bit of crafting with you on today's live. So who knows, this might be a two hour live stream, but um, at the end I'll kind of 
if you're re-watching the replay, I'll probably have timestamps down in the description box so you can skip around. Yes, those sentiments are so much fun, I agree. Okay, so this is another peel apart background stamp. We love to do red rubber stamps. Um, these are manufactured with Stamp Artists Anonymous and they do such a great job at making sure that they get the cuts perfect and the design's really nice as well. So this one is called Tree Farm. I love the fun sketchy look that I drew out of these guys. Such a cool look on trees. Definitely gives a unique effect. And of course, you could use this as a full background stamp, right? So just like my other peel apart background stamps, keep it on the acetate sheet, ink it up, and stamp it all down, and it looks really great to create a whole forest or a background. But if you want just one row of trees, you can peel this out and stamp that row by itself, which is so fun. I love to do that with just like, hey, if I want one tree line on my card, or I wanna create it in different colors, that's a really great way to do so. And then of course, I wanted to also separate out two little trees that are going the opposite directions, just so you have some little ones if you wanna just stamp one or two here and there. And of course, those are really easy to piece back into the stamp as well. Um, and so I, I love that you guys are loving these peel apart background stamps so much. I released one last year for the Christmas release, and I've been doing them ever since just because of how much you guys enjoyed that one. But I think this one is gonna be so much fun for creating different scenes, whether it's just any time of year or during Christmas, um, because I think this would work for regular nature scenes as well. With my bear, with Artie in the line, this is definitely gonna work with lots of cards with him too. So I love this tree farm stamp. Um, yes, peel apart, yes. The trees can be used for any season, which I think is so much fun. All right, guys, this is called, y'all, I'm blanking, and I don't even have the thing. I think it's called um, something about sweater. It's definitely called sweater weather or something like that. It was dumb of me to not have the package here with me. But this one is so much fun. It looked like a sweater design to me, so that's why I named it that. Um, and the cool part about this stencil is you can actually move it and shift it to get the design to get a more intricate design. You know, it already looks really cool as is, and I can just imagine some beautiful pace going through there, um, but it creates some really cool effects when you move it around. And I'll show that in just a second, and I'll probably demonstrate it too, because I love this stencil and the cool wintry backgrounds that it can create, and it looks like snowflakes in the end, which is so much fun. All right, guys, let's go on to the next one. Now, something really fun about this release that I wanna chat about is we definitely incorporated some more sophisticated styles into this release, which I really love. I know a lot of you guys had asked for some more sophisticated stamps or stamps you always didn't have to color in and things like that, and I definitely wanted to bring that in this release. Of course, there's still hand-drawn designs by me, which is so much fun, so it's still the same exact style but these definitely gear themselves more towards sophisticated um, stamps. And if you guys absolutely love this, we'll definitely do more like this in the future because I as well have so much fun creating with some more sophisticated designs to give it to you know people that are older and um, want some just beautiful cards and don't always want the little critters on them. All right, so let's go down to the desk and let me share this fun stamp set. So this one is called Brilliant Baubles. This one is just so super cool. I sat down for a whole day and just drew this out. And at the end, I was so in love with this stamp set. These ornaments are just so beautiful. The designs inside of them are so intricate and ornate, and I'm so excited to use them on cards. One of my favorite things about this is how big these are. So you can just use one, two, or three ornaments to fill up a whole card, which I really like that it fills it up really nicely. Um, and then, of course, you have this kind of tree branch on the side. So you can stamp that in green inks and kind of shade it in from the top of your stamp set. You have this string which um, can go down your card and hold on to these ornaments and kind of tie them on there, which is so fun. And then um, you have all of these awesome ornate ornaments. I'm not calling you guys old. I'm just saying I've gotten lots of comments <laughs> about how some people don't like the um, playful images as much. So we want to kind of mix it up and, and bring both styles to the party because I love crafting with this kind of stuff too. So I guess I'm an old soul too. Um, but you have this fun marble design. This one has a really cool snowflake inside of it. Some cool like Moroccan designs inside of there. This one's got some flowers. This one I love, it's got some cool flourishes in there um, and some different ornate designs. I am just so in love with this stamp set and I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. 
yes, these ornaments are so much fun. Did I draw them? Yes, I had so much fun sitting down and drawing all these ornaments. They're all hand drawn um, and it was so fun to do. So I'm gonna share examples in just a second with these, but these cards turned out so much fun and I cannot wait to create more with these as well. I know some of, some of you guys probably have so many ideas when you see that one. It's just the opportunities with that stamp set are so completely endless, which I love. Oh, Janet says, reminds me of the ornaments my grandma used to have. That is so cool. And you can really customize it to however you want it by heat embossing different stuff and things like that. Yes, for sure. Dora says, you're growing up maturing and I'm so glad your stamps are developing with you. Definitely, I always love my playful style, but we want to kind of introduce both styles so that you guys have lots to choose from. Okay, this one is called Swirly Ferns. And again, it's one of my favorite background stamps we've done. What I love about this is it just gives a really cool greenery type look to it. And I think it's gonna look really great on your cards. But one thing I also wanted to do is make sure that this background stamp had peel aparts in it as well. So let me show you guys this one. This has peel aparts from all different areas of that background stamp. So you have one coming out right there, one right here. You have one up here as well as this little guy. And then we have one last peel apart up here. And so you get all of these different ferns that you can stamp by themselves. And I think the coolest part is you can also stamp this at the top of the card and have ornaments hang from it, which I love. But it's a little bit more dainty and kind of frilly. And I think that's so cool. We definitely needed a background stamp like this. And this one filled that in for me. So I'm going to have so much fun kind of watercoloring this one in. And I love doing tone on tone backgrounds with it. I've been stamping it in green on green cardstock a lot. And I love the look of that. But it's almost like, again, you get a whole nother stamp set inside of a background stamp that you can peel apart and really have fun with playing. Okay, let's see. Yes, it definitely could almost pass for mistletoe. I created a card um, with it yesterday and we're actually in the midst of moving so I don't even know where I... Oh, it's back here. I'm gonna go grab it, just give me a second. <laughs> Okay, and I'll show this right after I show everything else, but it definitely created a card that looked like mistletoe with it yesterday, and so I wanna show that in just a second. But I am so in love with this background stamp. If you ever have any troubles piecing anything together or something's still sticking up, just kind of bend the rubber a little bit and everything will fall really nicely back into place and all be level again. So that's a really great tip when you're putting these away. Yes, this definitely does have a vintage appeal for sure. How big is it? These are six by six stamps, which is so awesome. So you can stamp it either this way or this way. We don't like to choose which way you have to stamp your stamp. And it's got um, the printing on the actual rubber stamp, which is something that I love that um, Stampers Anonymous did for us because it really shows and indexes your stamp whether or not you have the acetate on the back of it. And usually with my stamps, if you want a storage tip, I usually cut around it to make the acetate a little bit smaller and not as pokey. And then you have something like this where it is acetate covered on the back so it's not gonna get any dust on it. And then I just flip it over, ink it up, and stamp my card sack right into it. So that's usually how I use my stamps. I cut the acetate around it, but keep it on the acetate sheet. Okay, let's go into the last few products here. Yay, Tiffany, thanks. Yeah, be sure to like this video if you're enjoying it. And here's another more sophisticated one. And something that's really fun about the Posh Point Setas stamp is that we have some solid areas on it and some lined images. So if you're really into coloring, I know Kathy Rakusen always has that super awesome coloring challenge, and I love just sitting down to color sometimes. Um, so these lined images are gonna be perfect for that. But sometimes when I don't wanna color, I want solid images to stamp it in. And these work so great with my inks as well to really fill in the images and get an awesome effect with it. Um, because you can really ink it up with all the different colors of Simon Hurley Create inks, spray it down and stamp it to color it all in. That creates such an awesome look, whether you wanna just use this by itself or stamp it inside of the lined image. And then this gives a really awesome textured shadow there for the green wreath, which I think is so much fun. And so I'll share this all in just a second. I know sometimes they just look like blobs on the stamp set, but I think you guys are gonna love this one so much. And then there's cardinals on here that I drew, this little bow, which is so much fun, and then some little sprigs. And then you have sending warm hugs and holiday kisses, ha happy holidays from our home to yours, 
Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and tis the season to be jolly. So let's just read the comments. I've never thought of cutting down the acetate. Yes, Marcy, that is such a great idea. Um, is it a turnaround? This, um, I don't know exactly what that means. Yes, we are in the process of moving. I'm not going to say exactly where we are moving. We're moving to a new house. That's all I'm going to really say. Um, yes, everything is available now, Liz. The first link in the description box says, like, shop the new Simon Hurley Create release now. You can click that link and go shopping there. And actually, let me just put a link right in the chat for you guys. Yay, Christy says, Simon, you've outdone yourself with this set. Keep up the amazing work. I cannot wait to see more from you in the future. I agree, this set is so much fun, and I love the more sophisticated look about it, you know? It still has that very playful Simon Hurley Create kind of whimsical style, but I think the cool kind of more sophisticated designs um, of really, really bring the card together and make it so you create a more sophisticated card for anybody. Yes, the multi-fonts are some of my favorites. I love that. I was debating whether I should handwrite those fonts or not, but I love how they turned out. All right, so this next one is so much fun. I love this stencil so much. It's a six by six stencil. You guys know we love the maker stencils and this one is called Jumbo Poinsettia Maker. And of course, on the back of all of our maker stencils, we have how to put it together and some guides for how to put all the images together in your maker stencil, which I think is really important for you guys to see that. So I'm probably going to share this in today's live of how to do it, but you take it, you ink up your poinsettia, you turn it, you ink up the leaves, and then there's also some little add-ons you can do as well. But this poinsettia is huge and creates such beautiful cards. So I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on this stencil too. I know you guys have loved the maker stencils in the past, and this maker stencil is probably one of the easiest ones we've ever created, and it just creates this huge and so beautiful poinsettia. So I cannot wait for you guys to see this. It goes along with the other poinsettias. It goes along with the other sentiments and it is so much fun. Oh, no problem, Kay. No, I just don't want to give that away. It's not that I'm afraid of any of you guys knowing. It's just, I don't really want that all over the internet, um, but I totally get it. I, I totally understand. And I think um, I'll have a whole series on creating a new craft room there. So you guys will get to follow along and really see the journey as we're moving. Um, but right now we're just cleaning up the whole house and it's kind of been a mess, but um, yeah, no problem. Okay, so let me turn back to my face. Um, so those were all of the stamp sets, and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. I'm reading all of your comments, and it seems like you guys are falling in love with these stamps, inks, and products as much as I have. Now let's go in and just take a look at some of the card samples I made, and then we'll get into a little bit of crafting before I end the live stream. So let's turn it down to my desk, and let's get into it. All right, so this first one, this is the one that I said looks a little bit like mistletoe. So I used that Swirly Fern stamp, and I actually used them individually, right? So I peeled out some of those and used them individually and stamped them all around the card. This one's using Psych. I think this one might be Later Gator or Overzealous. And then this is that really beautiful new color, Fake Plant. If I double stamped it, you can see I stamped it once, the really dark color, and then stamped it second by moving it just a little bit. And then I kind of watercolored it out a little bit by just adding some water to some of the leaves. I love this one. Yes, so much fun. Well, Stephanie, have fun at work. Thank you so much for joining. All right, so this one is using the Snazzy Snowman and also uses the Tree Farm background stamp. So here I used the Tree Farm in kind of a more mixed media water type way with my fake plant color. And then I went in and stamped down the snowman, watercolored these two guys in, and then stamped down the does this scarf make me look fat. I love that. Okay, let me go in. This one says, you melt my heart. Let me go check. Someone said, are the inks really sold out? Let me just go on the site and check it for you guys. All right, so here is the You Melt My Heart. I love this puddle snowman. It is so adorable. And the way that it just um, kind of melts on here is so much fun. I love how that looks on the card. And this snowman is just adorable. Um, and it really is just so cute on the card. And then I use the Midnight Snack Color to create my own colored cardstock. And I went on top of it with the Sweater Weather um, background stencil and inked over top of it. So much fun. 
Let me see, I'll get word with Ranger on that in just a second after the live stream. I'll talk to them about the inks being in stock and things like that. Because one thing I do want to mention is the inks might not be fully sold out actually. But we have a, um, a uh, machine that they put all of the products in. So instead of taking stuff from the warehouse, because that might take a long time to get back and forth from everywhere, this machine actually pulls our products down and like has all the ink pads on one shelf. And so they refill that after every day. So maybe just what's in that machine is sold out from the ink pads and I'll try to get them back on the site after I am done with live. I'll try to figure that out with all of you guys. Awesome. So this one is so adorable. And this is what I was talking about with that sweater weather stamp set where you can kind of move it and shift it on your card and you get a really cool, almost kaleidoscope snowflake look. I just think that is so cool. Yep, I just checked. Yep, those ink pads are sold out right now. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm going to chat with them afterwards to see if we can get them back on the site today um, and see if you guys can um, purchase. Yep. They have a pre-picking machine. I know, Beth, I'm so sorry. It, it, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get them back on the site after the live. So, or if anybody from Ranger's on the live, um, if you guys could look into that. I don't know if anybody's here from Ranger, but if you are, let them know that the inks are out of stock and see if they can get them back in. Awesome, so here is the ornaments, and I just love this. The Brilliant Bauble stamp set is so cool. I went in and gold heat embossed these, and then I went in with some of the new colors and watercolored them in to create this really cool effect. And then, of course, I stamped some of the branches at the top from the stamp set, and this card is just so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let me go in. This one is using the Jumbo Point Seta Maker stencil. Guys, this one is so beautiful when it's done and it's so much easier than you might think it is to do. I did this in a very short amount of time and it's almost like your own pattern paper with these huge poinsettias. And of course, this can just be a really large focal point as well. Oh, I love it. And so I used this with a little bit of bee sting and then I also went in and I blended down a little bit of game over for that darker color on there and added a little bit of shading and I just love it. Yes, I can totally demonstrate that kaleidoscope for sure. Okay. Yes, guys, I'll, I'll text them um, right after I'm done showing these. So then this one is that poinsettia, um, posh poinsettia stamp set. And there is that solid green stamp that I stamped in there that gives some really cool texture. And then I stamped down the Swirly Ferns background stamp onto a green colored cardstock and it gives such a cool look. I love that with the tone on tone look. I love that background together. And then of course I heat embossed the Happy Holidays from Our Home to Your Sentiment. And I just love that on a piece of um, vellum there. It just looks so beautiful. All right, and last card that I created, again, I did that cool kaleidoscope effect with the sweater weather stencil. That one is a must have. I love how it shifts and moves to create that really cool snowflake kaleidoscope look. And then of course we have the Posh Poinsettia stamp set and I took those solid ones and I stamped them inside with some of my colored inks on there. So you can really see how easy it is. That was no coloring. That was just my stamps stamping in there. And let me chat about the stamps too. One thing I forgot to mention, which I literally had an email uh, in my inbox to remember to mention this. So on the Ranger site with these stamp sets, we haven't come up with dies yet. Trust me, we are listening to you guys. We are working on dies for sets in the future. So definitely keep your eyes out in the look on the lookout on that for the future. Maybe next year, I'm thinking. But right now, we did come up with a, a solution for any of you guys who have Cricut or Silhouette machines or any machine that's more of a digital electronic die cutting machine. For $1.99, um, you get all of the cutouts from these stamp sets. So I believe you put it in your machine. I'm not quite sure how the Cricut and all that works, but we've made files for them, cut files for them, so that you can cut all these images out on your machine, and then you stamp them down onto the cutouts, which works really nicely. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and invest in a machine like that, because I know how expensive they can be. And if you have a die cutting machine, we're definitely hearing you with the dies. Um, I think most of these aren't too difficult to cut out, but we are working on dies for the future. And if you guys do have machines already that are electronic die cutting machines, add some of those files to your cart, because you can use those to cut out the images before you stamp them onto your project, which is so much fun. Yes, I will definitely have pictures on social media of all my projects um, so you guys can see them. 
Okay, so let me just... I'm going to just start creating and I will text them in a second. Let me just turn off Do Not Disturb. I just want to see if we can get these ink pads back in stock. <laughs> so let me just... Let's just work together here, guys. Let's see, because those are already sold out. Guys, you are crazy. Thank you so much, though. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so I'll text afterwards um, and see if we can get those back in. And let's start crafting right now. So one thing I wanted to share is just how this um, Posh Point set of stamp set works. So I'll share a lot in today's live. Um, so I'm gonna just go in here. I'm using a piece of my Stark White cardstock. You can find all my products on that page at Ranger that I linked to. I'll go in with a little bit of archival ink. And, oh, someone said, can you put the whole release on camera? Yeah, let me do it. Let me do it real quick. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> okay, I might have to zoom out for this. <laughs> Your wish is my command though, right? I'm gonna do it. Okay, so we have the, uh, the poinsettia maker, posh poinsettias. Love this swirly ferns, the brilliant bobble stamp set, the sweater weather, trees, and the snowman. It all fits with a little bit of a pinch, but there you go. Yes, so exciting. I love it. Okay, so take your screenshots, see what you guys want to order. Um, I know there's a whole bundle of the whole set of all the products we just released as well. And let's get right into crafting. And I'll also share the stencils because I know you guys, a lot of you guys were asking about the stencils and so I want to share that as well in just a second here. So let me zoom back in. I hope this live isn't too all over the place for you guys. I'm having fun just sitting and crafting and sharing all the new stuff with all of you. So I hope you're enjoying it as well. So let me go in here. I'm taking a piece of Stark White cardstock. I've already got the wreath, the lined wreath lined up in my Misty. And I'll just stamp it down. Okay. So once that is all stamped down, I can then move into stamping down the second layer. So let me go in and grab a the background here. So this is the second layer of this. So it's a little bit more solid. Um, and let me show you guys how this works. Because I know sometimes in the sets, it just looks like a little blob and that doesn't really help you out when you're purchasing it, right? So I'm gonna go in here. And one of the things I like to do when there's a lot of photopolymer is just kind of lift it up and get all the bubbles out. I find that that's going to give you the best stamped impression. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of fake plant, which is that new color. And you guys are going to be so in love with these new ink colors. Ugh, but y'all are crazy. The fact that you sold them out already is insane. I've never had that happen before on live. Um, so let me just go in and spray this down just a little bit. And the cool part about this layer is it's not completely solid. Let me just get rid of a little bit of excess ink that's inside there because I think that'll transfer too much. So the cool part about this is that I actually made it with just a textured kind of overlay. So I'm gonna look over to make sure it's lined up. I know you're gonna see my head for a second, but I have to do this to get it perfectly lined up. Okay, so once I've got it lined, I'm going to press down. I ended up getting rid of a little bit of the texture since I added water to it, but it still has some of that really cool kind of plant-like texture in there. It leaves a little bit of white area, um, which is so much fun. So that colors that in so super quickly. And then I can go in and watercolor the rest in with my products. Yay, Melissa says she bought it all. Um, just bought the bundle, Scrap Girl says. Yay, Tara says she bought hers. Um, how do you screenshot? Um, on your iPhone, I think it's this and this button. It's the two sides button. It's your top volume button and your um, power button. They'll be available hopefully soon, Lisa. I'll get on that right after the live. Okay, 
So I'm gonna move away from this now, but I just wanted to share that. So of course then you can go in with your water brush and watercolor these in. For this example, I actually went in with just colored pencils from Prismacolor and just quickly colored these in. But having that option to do that stamped wreath just makes it so much easier and takes out really the main area that you need to color, which is so fun. Okay, now let's go in and I wanna share that Jumbo Poinsettia stencil because I know you guys have been asking for that one um, and I wanna share how that one works today. So let me go in here. I'm gonna do it just on the center of my card so you can see the full poinsettia there, but you can really do it on the side of your card or anything like that. Okay, so let me grab out a couple colors I wanna use. All right, so first off, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Let's go in with a little bit of slippery and wet to add a little bit of yellow first. I'm just gonna kind of warm it up a little bit. That gives it kind of a warm undertone base, but of course you can skip that color. The cool part about my inks is you can really just use one color to do this if you want to, but if you want lots of variation in there, you can go in with several different colors and do some ink blending. And of course, one of the best features of my inks, besides the fact that they can stamp and watercolor really well, is just their ability to blend so beautifully and effortlessly. I'm gonna go in here and add a little bit of darker color to the center with that same bee sting. And then I'm gonna go in with Game Over, which is the new really nice dark rich red color. And I'm going in with these little mini detail blending tools and I just go in and fill this in. And that simple little blending of color adds so, so much shading to your project. So look how beautiful that is already. It really just transforms it. And instead of having to stamp this down and stamp it in just one color, one thing I love about the maker stencils is you can do it in so many different colors and really take advantage of the blending properties of your Simon Hurley Create inks. All right, guys, almost done. I told you, this one is fast. I, I went through that background really quickly when I made that card, even though I was blending several of them. And if I want to, just to smooth it all out, you can go back in with a little bit of bee sting, just blend all of it together. Look at that beauty. I love it. Just creates this beautiful poinsettia. Do you know where to find the SVG files on the website? I will ask, a good question. I will ask after the live stream. I, I really don't know how everything is gonna look once it goes on the site. Um, and I'm live, so I haven't really had a chance to take a peek at everything, but I'll fix any issues and hopefully try to get some of the stuff back in stock once I'm off of live. So thank you guys for holding in there. I just wanna keep crafting and sharing stuff with you um, before, beforehand. I don't wanna hop off here and end this too quick. So then you can go in and fill in the center I usually turn that twice to fill it in. And then let's go in with this. So we started like this, right? This is how we started. You're not gonna flip it or anything like that. You're actually just going to rotate it and find the two that it matches up with. And it's actually gonna leave a little tiny bit of a white area there because I wanted to leave that since there was white areas inside of here. Yay, Linnea says she loves and the stencils. Thank you, Linnea. Linnea is part of my design team and she is an awesome crafter. Okay, so let's go in with a little bit of overzealous to start out. So I'll just go in here, bring in a little bit of this lighter green tone. We all know how much I love my yellow green colors. I love them so much. Psych would have been cool in there too. I think Psych looks really great on leaves. And then let's go in with a little bit of fake plant. And the reason I'm so excited about this green color, this fake plant, is just how dark and rich and saturated you can get it without really putting in too much effort, right? It just goes on there and it is so great for leaves and things where you want a little bit more of a sophisticated green color that doesn't have as much yellow in it. That'll do ya, right? Look how cool that is. Oh, I just love these stencils and what they're able to create when you do um, the maker. And so of course there is also berries with a branch you can do and there's also holly and berries as well. Yes. Totally. Oh, 
Okay, so let me move on here. I know guys, there are some issues going on with this site. I'm gonna try to figure those out after I get off live. I know I hear you guys, so keep leaving your comments. I won't probably respond to them as much during the live, um, but I will be on it after, and I'll, I'll be looking at those comments afterwards. Okay, so let me show you how to do the sweater weather stencil. So let me go in here and okay i'm gonna go in with a little bit of clear skies so let me do the first layer I, and i told you guys this one looks kind of like a kaleidoscope when you're done with it so i'm just going in here and i'm just going to blend over top Yes, there are new inks also, Carmen, yes. Um, and those are sold out right now, but I'll try to get them back on the site after we're done here on live. Or pretty soon after. Okay, so there was Clear Skies, which I love the look of that one. Oh, maybe I should have done it in Midnight Snack. Okay, well, that's what I'll do the next layer in. <laughs> um, so then, this is how we started, right? Now I'm going to move it down and line up the portion, okay. Let me, let me try that again. Let me, let me describe that a little better. I'm gonna line up this portion, which looks different from this portion. So just kind of shift it slightly to the side there. And then find exactly where you want to line it up. Make sure it's lined up in all areas here. And then I'll go in with my next color and blend it down. And so that's gonna create this cool kaleidoscope effect. And of course, we still do have to move the stencil just a little bit to get it all the way at top. And I'll show you guys how to do that too. So if you're at the edge of your stencil and you need to move it, there's a really easy way since it's a repeating pattern that you can just move it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that, line it up right there with how it was already blended out. And I'm literally just going to continue the blending upwards. Oh, and look at that. So just so much fun. I love the look of this one. Um, I just thought of the kind of kaleidoscope look that it has during today's live, but it looks like these frozen snowflakes um, and gives a really cool geometric design. So that's why I called it sweater weather. Of course, if you want to just keep it more simple and less design, you could totally go in with just the one layer, but if you want this cool, unique, double-toned kaleidoscope effect, moving it and creating this looks really beautiful in the end. And of course, this is a striking background as it is, so you might want to finish it off with just a simple sentiment. I find the snowmen pair beautifully with this stencil as well. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys are loving everything as much as I do. I love it. Okay, is there anything else you guys want to see from, from the launch? Let me know in the comments. So I shared this, shared the Jumbo Point Setter Maker, which I love. I find the stencils are easiest to do. How do I hold the stencils? Good, good question, Beth. Lots and lots of practice. <laughs> um, you probably should use your Make Art Station, um, but when it's quick things like that and I'm doing demos, I just do it really quick. But if I'm doing it in my free time, usually I use the station to hold it down. Looks like crocheted granny squares, definitely. That's awesome. I think it does have a really cool kind of unique um, look to it. Yay. Okay. The ornaments. Blanca wants to see the ornaments. Okay, I'll share those too. So one cool thing about the ornaments let me grab them out. Actually, let me grab the ones I already used because y'all in the past for live streams and stuff like that, I just keep grabbing out new stamp sets and that is not the way to go. So I just need to keep using the same ones <laughs> uh, and not waste so many stamp sets because then I have to get rid of them. Okay. So let me just wipe up the surface here. And let me go in with the ornaments. So let's go in with this dude. And let's see. 
The marble one is one of my faves. I love it. Okay, so let's go in and color these two guys in. I'm just gonna stamp them with regular archival ink here. Um, let me grab out my misty stamping tool. Sorry, some things aren't planned like this one. This is just a uh, an impromptu thing, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to place this down here. And I'm going to grab my ornaments and place them onto the card like this. All right, so once I'm done with that, I will make sure that everything is in the corner and stamp it down using some jet black archival ink. And so the cool part about this is if, you, if you're into cutting these stamps out, you can of course um, do it with a little bit of embossing powder. And sometimes I go in with a little bit of ink blending too. Um, and usually I'd probably emboss these to keep my coloring inside the lines, but I don't want it to be too loud for you guys. So I'm not going to do that. And then I'm gonna go in with a little string too, because this is a really awesome part about this stamp set. Um, it just makes them look a little bit more realistic, which I think is so much fun. So I'm gonna grab the string out. Yay, Deanna says she just bought the whole bundle and she cannot wait to create some beautiful Christmas cards. Thank you so much, Deanna. Thank you to everyone who's been ordering. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I've never had a release day where the inks sell out that fast. Um, I didn't know that that was the truth when <laughs> um, that came through. So I'm, I'm amazed and so in awe by you guys' amazing support. So of course, you could do this in a silver color too if you want to. I think that would look awesome. But again, I'm not gonna heat emboss right now. And so those just add a little bit of string on top of there. Of course, if you wanna go in with a little bit of actual twine, you totally could. And I think that looks really awesome too. Okay, so now let me show how to color these. Having fun coloring. So I'll go in with a little bit of fake plant, a little bit of game over some midnight snack, clear skies. I'll just bring down a couple colors. And I love this one too. This triple berry is so beautiful. All right. And then I'll go in with my little paintbrush. I've started using this one now. I just love this paintbrush so much. Um, it just gives you a nice fine point. And I find I can control my watercolor better without using a water brush. Does Midnight Snack work well with Crown Me because it looked like the new one had a touch of purple in it? Um, Midnight Snack works beautifully with Crown Me. In fact, I'll pull it out. You can see they're very, very different, but this one might have a little bit of kind of violet or purple in it for sure. But I'll share. Oh, I thought Crown Me was darker than that, but Crown Me is just such a beautiful color as well. Okay. So I'll go into here. Let's start off with the water marbled one. Let's go in and just do a little bit of water coloring. Of course, if you want a little bit of a stronger color, add less water to it. If you want a more watered down, washed out look, add a little bit of less water. We'll go into, let's go into a little bit of purple actually, some crown me since you guys requested that. Ooh, look at that. Just a beautiful blend into that purple crown me color. Love it. And then I'll go in with a little bit of this game over color. This is just such a beautiful ornament. And so these turn out really, really cool. And of course, like I said, if you did emboss it, you'll have a shinier, more stunning effect. But I just wanted to share it really quick in today's live, how you can watercolor these in. And if you want to add a little bit more shading, I grab that color more full strength and I just start tapping it down onto the surface. So look at that. Just that beautiful, rich color. Yay, still horsing around said, been eagerly waiting for a rich blue color. Well, here it is. I am so excited for it, as much as you guys are. I really, I've really been waiting for it too. <laughs> you guys don't even know. So I'm really excited. I'm always excited when Ranger uh, says I can add some new colors to the line. Okay, and of course, if you guys keep supporting them, Ranger keeps wanting to add new colors, and so you guys selling out the color in the first couple minutes is pretty crazy, pretty cool. Okay, 
And then let's bring in a little bit of Midnight Snack on the bottom here too. Oh, I just love that. And of course these colors look a lot darker if you go in with a lot less water. But if you uh, water them out, they give a less saturated look. So you can create some really cool effects there. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for the watercolor. And then of course you could blend a really cool background here and stamp some sentiments out, but I just love it. Pink and green is big ornament decorating these days. Definitely, yeah, there's some cool colors and you can really kind of create your own color schemes on there with maybe an ornament that you have on your tree or something like that, which I think is really cool. Another thing you can do is let's try, let's just quickly try this. I'm gonna go in with my stark white cardstock and we'll go in and just dip it in there to get some color down. Cool. So there's a cool background you can use for stamping and stuff like that. I'll set this off to the side and let it dry. You can always die cut out of it or um, you know create more layers to it, but I just love the look of that once you're done with coloring. It gives you kind of a water, water marble look. Hey Glenna, she says, glad I'm here now. She just ordered the bundle. Thank you so much, Glenna. Um, all of you guys who are ordering, thank you so much for your support. It really means the world to me and I can't tell you how excited I am for you guys to get your hands on this release, for them to be shipped out to you, and for you guys to start creating with it. It's so exciting to see your amazing projects um, come to life with my products. And so I'll leave a link right now. There's so many of you guys inside this live, and I really thank you all. I left a link in the chat. There's a Facebook group on Facebook. It's a private group called Stamping with Simon Hurley Create. And there are so many amazing creators in there that share their projects. And that's a great um, place to share your Simon Hurley Create projects. And of course, if you're just sharing them on social media, use the hashtag Simon Hurley Create or tag me at Inclips or tag Simon Hurley underscore create. And I would love to see your projects. Yay. Heather said she ordered the bundle too. Thank you guys so much. So let me share some of the projects as well. Let me end it off by sharing all of these so you guys can see them. And of course, if you just joined, a good way to purchase some Simon Hurley Create products, I'll leave a link in the chat right now and the first link in the description is where you can purchase as well and I'll share some of the stuff we made today all right guys I love this release and I'm so glad you guys love it as much as I do so here are all of the amazing products there's of course that ornament stamp set the posh poinsettias the really cool maker stencils this super cool shifting stencil um, and the snowmen. The snowmen are some of my faves too. Yes, I'll try to get um, the inks back in um, and available for you guys. We'll see if we can work, work something out there. And somebody said, can you show the full release one last time? And I will do just that before we head off. So let me quickly zoom out. Oh gosh, where's my remote? <laughs> Let me just do it up here. Perfect. Oh gosh. Hopefully I didn't make you guys dizzy. Okay. Let's show some of the stuff. So here is that tree stamp set. I know you guys love seeing them all together. And of course they're all on the Ranger site too, so you can check them out over there. They've got the images of the sets and the secondary images there but such a fun release. And of course, the ink pads, can't forget about those. So now you guys know why I was so, so excited about this release and really hyping it up over on social media. Yes, I will definitely see where this uh, SVG files are. I'll go check on all the stuff on the retail side that you guys have been having problems with. Um, yes, there are digital files with this release that you guys can check out. Um, but yeah, now you guys know why I was hyping it up so much on social media. I've had this release designed for a while and I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Never miss another video like this one from me. And of course, I'll be sharing tons of inspiration and videos and cards on Instagram and over here using these new products and all of my old stuff mixed in with it. So if you guys want to see lots of inspiration with the products that you might have ordered today, be sure to stick around. I would love to have you guys here. And thank you so, so much for joining in on the fun today. 
Um, can you only order the background and the bundle? Didn't see it as a separate item. I'll check on that as well. Um, oh, someone said you can. I'll check on everything. <laughs> so once I go off of live, I'll check on everything. Marcy says the release was worth the hype. Ken uh, Cards by Kendra says she loves the new release. So thank you guys so much for your amazing words of kindness. You guys showed how much you loved the release. Um, Joanne says she didn't see the background stamp too, so I'll check that all out. I'll be sure to check on everything for you guys. Carmen says she loved the midnight snack preview. I have so much fun doing those. All right, guys, Merry Christmas. Uh, have a wonderful Christmas in July, and um, I'll see you guys very, very soon for another card making and crafting video. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thank you so much, too. It really means the world to me, all of your support and everything. Today's live, always, it means the world to me, and I think sometimes I don't say that enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been a dream of mine since I was very little. And it's insane, the, the amazing support you guys show me. So thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I cannot wait for you guys to get your stuff in the mail. Bye for real now. Have a wonderful night.